Well, one of the key discussion leaders at the 14th South Korea United Nations Joint Conference on Disarmament and Non-Proliferation Issues is Lasina Zerbo, the Executive Secretary of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization based in Vienna, Austria. Well, he joins me live in our News Center studio tonight. Mr. Zerbo, great to have you with us. Good afternoon. Thank you. Well, uh, for those of us not in the know, uh, why don't you first begin by explaining what uh, this Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization is, what your main function is? The Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, its uh, preparatory commission in Vienna, is set uh, through its international monitoring system and its verification regime to verify compliance with the Test Ban Treaty. This is our main uh, purpose. And to that effect, to put an end to nuclear test explosion. And this is why we're dealing here in the Korean Peninsula at the conference that is set for that. Right, of course, because we've been seeing some nuclear test, nuclear explosions tests here on the Korean Peninsula. Now, as um, I briefly mentioned, and as you mentioned as well, you're here for the joint conference between South Korea and the United Nations on Disarmament and Non-Proliferation Issues Conference. Um, this year's theme is Unfinished Business of Building a More Secure World. Have you made any progress uh, to reviving uh, the denuclearization talks uh, with North Korea? I think one of the things we agreed uh, this morning was that uh, there is a different way and a different approach that we should have with North Korea. First, find a way to resume the cis party talk, but how to do that? Uh, there are different views, but it is important to not isolate the North Korea. We have to bring them on the table to be able to discuss and then talk. And the success of the Iran deal sets or paved the way to different way of approaching those type of issues. We succeeded with a deal with, the, with Iran. I think we can, the same way, bring North Korea and the main leaders of this world to discuss this issue and then find a solution. If it takes to spend four weeks, like we did in Vienna, for Iran, we have to do the same for North Korea. And this is what we believe in. Um, so do you believe, personally, that uh, that deal, a deal similar to that of Iran, could actually take place with North Korea? Or are we talking about a different kind of uh, a state? Even if we have a different kind of state, uh, a deal like what happened with Iran could happen with North Korea. Why did it happen? Mutual respect, sitting around the table, finding ways to find a solution, and deciding that we have four weeks to decide, we have a dead hand, and that dead hand we need to find a solution. This is what happened in Vienna. We can do the same with North Korea. We have to bring them on the table of discussion. We have to talk to them. I don't believe in isolation. The only way to bring them today is to resume to cease party talk and then bring our sister organization in Vienna back to North Korea to try and, uh, and verify whatever needs to be done. Right, the IAEA. Absolutely. Um, what is CTBTO's stance on North Korea's nuclear ambitions? What about the nuclear security uh, in North Korea? The CTBT stands on, on, on North Korea nuclear ambition. I mean, we have our role, which is banning nuclear test explosion. In this 21st century, North Korea is the only country to have proceeded to nuclear test explosion. 2006, 2009, and 2013. Three, but three too many. Mm -hmm. We would hope that this never happen again. The 21st century is too civilized for any nuclear test explosion. There's no room for nuclear test explosion. Having said this, talking about nuclear security, we have to complement each other. I was talking about the International Atomic Energy Agency. Mm -hmm. We have to work closely. They do their part, we take our end, so that we verify the compliance with regard to their nuclear security aspect, and then for us to nuclear test explosion. And this is what we should do, and this is the only way forward. And the international community should include all parties to discuss this issue. Sure. So also engaging in North Korea, engaging North Korea in the talks to denuclearize that state. Yeah. Um, are there ways for CTPTO to really step in and enforce a ban on North Korea from uh, carrying out any kind of nuclear explosions test? Your question boils down to the entry into force of the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. Mm -hmm. When in force, the CTPT indeed would enforce a ban on nuclear test explosion on North Korea. Mm -hmm. Right now, we have an international monitoring system that is effective, a verification regime that is nearly completed. 
a verification regime and a verification system that has shown its effectiveness during the three announced nuclear test explosion by North Korea. But how to enforce this in the absence of a legally binding framework that put the entry into force of the CTBT? And this is why the entry into force of this treaty is more than relevant. We cannot go with a world free of nuclear weapon if we don't have a world free of nuclear testing. Right. But, but we would need the willingness of North Korea in order for that to happen. Indeed, we need the willingness of North Korea. I mean, that's why I was talking about mutual respect. Right. We have to engage them in a way where they feel comfortable. I think diplomats are here for that. And right. I think it happened the same way with Iran. It took years before the relevant party could sit around the table in Vienna mm -hmm. for three, four weeks and then to reach a conclusion. I think that's possible with North Korea. We have to find a framework. I've been uh, at a discussion table in Russia at the conference where North Korea were participant. Mm -hmm. I had an opportunity to exchange a few words with them. I think we have to engage a way to build confidence and then to bring them on the table in a way where they agree to discuss the issue the way the international community wants. Well, I think you've partly answered uh, the, my question to my last question, which is, what are your prospects for a nuclear-free Korean peninsula, uh, nuclear, I guess, to ensure the uh, nuclear security on the peninsula? What are your prospects on that? I think you've said, I've said it already, I think we need a Korean peninsula that is test-free first before we move on to a nuclear weapon-free, if any. I think I'm, I tend to refuse uh, to take today a situation where we assume already that North Korea is a nuclear weapon country. They've done some tests. There's still a long way to go. Mm -hmm. I think we have to engage with them in a way where we understand their position, but we want them to join the international community. First, on the moratorium against nuclear testing, and then in a denuclearization de process that will satisfy the expectation of the international community. Let me add a question that might be a little bit difficult for you to answer. Do we foresee a, a nuclear test in the near future by North Korea? I hope not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. And hopefully not, but what I can say, our system, our international monitoring system, our verification regime are in place. We can detect, we can make the specification, the technical specification at the disposal of our state signatories, but we need the entry into force of the CTBT, the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty, to enforce that law. All right. Uh, Lasina Zerbo, Executive Secretary of CTBTO, uh, thank you indeed for coming out to our studio and sharing your insights with us. We hope to see you again in the near future. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Pleasure.